Thank you, the dive watcher. I have a pretty special one to uh, review for you today and show you. Um, I put up a couple of, of short video shorts about it, but um, and it's one that is spectacular. It, the finishing, uh, which I'll get into, is beyond spectacular. But um, here's the box. Uh, comes in this cleaning pouch cloth collector's box. It also has a, a another box, box in a box that it comes in, Seiko. And on top of that, it came in a sleeve that said, you can read it there, it says remove, or if you can read Japanese, which I can a little bit because I am part Japanese. My grandmother's from Tokyo, Japan. Um, so she was born and raised there and so my mother was half and that means of course I'm a fourth so what I have is what I'm going to pose a question for in just a few minutes Seiko Marine Master SLA 075 um, 200M and as you can tell look at the luster Look at the finish of this. The fit and finish. This, okay, so briefly I'll explain, and, and you may know, um, there's four of these SLA models. Two SLA 057 and 055 are limited edition and ever brilliant steel, which is a, 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 like a 904 steel. It's like the Seiko's version of the hard, hardest steel you can make. And those retail at 4,600 a piece. Uh, the 5.7 is limited to 6,600. The 5.5 is limited to 1,300. Um, then you have the zero the SLA 0, uh, 75 and SLA 073, which are the U.S. special editions. And they're not they're not limited, but they're U.S. Edition, they're special editions for the U.S. So I don't know how long they'll make them, but so the question I have is, uh, where does this diver fall within Seiko's lineup? I think, I'm wondering if this is going to replace the MM300 that they discontinued, and this is going to be the new route they take. Let me go over some dimensions with you. Um, 42.6 millimeter case. It wears pretty true to size. I'll give you a wrist shot here in just a second. Um, this one retails at 20 eight hundred dollars um the 073 what comes on a bracelet which i do want to get the bracelet for this i have to if i keep it and it it it, it should this one should have came with a bracelet but the bracelet will fit all the other models too they were rent steel you really can't these are this was hand polished in this uh Zeratsu finish it was actually polished in the grand seco factory um, along with the 73, 073, and both the Everbrink Steels, the uh, 057 and SLA 055. So, um, you can see, I can give you the angle there. Look at the texture. I call it the Matrix dial, but it's got lines that go down it like a cave. This, this is part of the cave diving series. But, look at that finish. So, we got a 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter lug, 42.6 millimeter case. The bezel is going to measure about 42 millimeters. <clears throat> um, no sign crown, but it's got about a 7 millimeter size crown. 49.2, I've even seen it as 49.6, but about 49.2 or 3 lug to lug. Drilled lugs, 13.2 thick. It's got a double dome, the double, a uh, double curved. One part partially on the outer and then the inner is curved or domed. So, far you can see the distortion, the, the way it is, it's curved. That gives it a lot of character, a lot of depth, a lot of depth character. Um, and then it comes on this um, Hershey bar, what they call type strap. It's a very comfortable strap. Um, the, like I told you, the retail, let me give you the, show you this. You can see that. $1,200 um, SLA 075 
So you get the SLA 075, SLA 073, those two are the same. They're, they're, we are, these two are, those two are not the ever brilliant steel. And you got the SLA 0757 and SLA 055 that are ever brilliant steel in limited edition. And the bracelet for the S, SLA 073 will fit all the models. Um, that's why, but it's $400 and it's ridiculous. And this watch, okay, this watch was $2,800 that 073, which is just like it, except it's got a ice blue dial and it comes on the bracelet, is only $2,900. Which leads me to say, I highly recommend the Paula Jewelers and as for William, he owns the Paula Jewelers and you will not be disappointed dealing with him. Definitely call him. If you're interested in, he carries a full lineup of Seiko and Oris. So, um, but check out the just the, the detail look at the knurling the teeth on the, on the on the bezel they're deep and they just look good so let's let you hear some bezel action you ready let me see if I can get this it's a little bit muted but it's good action got good resistance Go around one more time. And I believe everything lines up on this. And we'll find out. Let me go ahead and square it off here. Yep, it does. Uh, this has... Um, give you a close-up picture of that, that dial. It's got the date. It's a 4 o'clock. Which a lot of people don't like. I have really, you really don't even notice the date. Um, this one's running a little bit fast. I've timed it at 10 seconds fast today. That's a little fast for me. But again, it may go back. I may get, I may get the set 073, or I may try to just go ahead and get the MM300. I know they discontinued it, but I have a feeling. The question I have is, where does this fit, and where does this fall within Seiko's current lineup? What is Seiko's? What, 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 what's happening here? Seiko has discontinued the MM300, the Marine Master 300M, and so, and this, these pieces, like the ever, two ever brilliant steel models in this piece, they're $4,600. This is $2,800. Those 73s, $2,900. These are taking the place, I believe, of the MM300. And so, and, and then you're going to have your luck, you, and, and this is considered a lux, a prospect's lux, but Seiko's repositioning and they're redoing everything and they're they're messing up because they're they're overpriced they got everything overpriced the two Everbrent steels for forty six hundred dollars are overpriced that's too high I know that they're trying to compete with Seiko with with Rolex but you you can't Rolex it's a different it's a different animal Rolex is almost like Apple so um they they, they control the market they and, and they have such a, a, a of, of a cult following almost that, that there's just nothing that's going to compete with with Rolex. I, I personally don't care for Rolex, but but the, but but they're good investments. You'll you'll make your money back. But you spend forty six hundred dollars on ever being steel model this. I don't know you're, you're going to get your money back. Now I might come close for what I paid for this. You know the retail is twenty eight hundred, and um, so like I said, call William at the Paul Jewelers. Uh, you got, uh, let me show you the case back real quick. You see the, the, the Hershey bar strap. It's very comfortable, very soft and supple. You can see how soft and supple it is. Um, I'm going to give you a wrist shot too. I want to show you the case back. So, uh, oops, I just dropped the hang tag. There is the case back. You can see Seiko. It's the Prospects. And I'm going to give you a quick wrist shot. You see, it's nine minutes, so we need to end this. Um, so comment below, if you will, comment below and tell me your thoughts on where Seiko, where, where this falls in Seiko's lineup. What is Seiko, where is, what is, where is Seiko going with this? Are they, are these replacing the MM300s? Because I, I really think they are. I mean, this is what I'm, I'm, my, 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 my guess is with the big, you know, big company, you know, 
Yeah, yes, let me get this hang tag. Drive me crazy. But here is a wrist shot. Good size. You know, I, I sent the SPB 185 back because it was more like a 40 millimeter. This wears true to size. Looks very good. And oh, that finish. Oh, and, and by the way, it does have a, a dress down grad sake of movement, the 8L35. And I'll take a look at the sweep of the second hand. How smooth it is. Can you see that? You get a look at it there. And um, it's a it's a very comfortable watch. I want to get the brace. The brace is going to cost four hundred dollars. That's another thing. So I'm a. It's just Seiko Seiko Seiko. If you're listening, you're too high. Stop trying to compete with Rolex and chill out because you're, you're not gonna it's, you're not gonna succeed this is every, this this is every every bit as nice as a Rolex to me the the finish is even nicer the, the hand polish Sarasu finish hand polished in, at the Grand Seiko factory with the Grand Seiko movement and for $2,800 $2, it's it's fabulous and you know and you you, you collectors out there know that you what, what you pay for uh, uh, compared to retail what, what do you end up paying I'm telling you, call Paul, call William at the Paul Jewelers. So here is a good wrist shot. Looks good. I, mean, I have a red Deluca uh, Zulu strap, five ring Zulu strap. Don't order for it. I'm searching for, and comment below if you know of a fitted, curved in fitted, 20 millimeter red rubber, rubber strap that'll fit this. I want, I want a red rubber strap. And so comment below and tell me if you, you know of where I can get one. And I'm going to put a link in the description of the Paul Jewelers and William and to call him for all your Seiko needs. You're going to be the best pricing that you'll get, best customer service you'll get. And then I'll put a description, a link in the description for DeLuca straps. They're kind of pricey, but their other straps are fine. And I have a discount code that I can give you that I use and I'll pass it on to you. You can use it too if you want it, if you're in a, if looking for a good Zulu strap. So that's all I got I'm gonna end it here this is a fine timepiece you can just see the luster of it and let me uh, take it off and give you one more close look here's a closer look at the strap it's branded there it's got a black steel DLC keeper your buckle is signed Seiko and there is the back of the the, it's a very comfortable strap I just think this should have came with the bracelet like the 073 did but um, look at the luster look at the polished and brushed middle there yeah, it's just fine beautiful the best finish on any watch I've ever seen in my 24 years of collecting high end dive watches alright this is it I'm going to end it any questions or any comments please leave them um, should I keep this or should I send it back where does it fall in Seiko's lineup? What's Seiko doing right now? I think they're replacing the MM300 with these, and this is going to be their 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 mid to upper range, and then you get it up to the look to the high end looks like SNR029 at six thousand dollars, and then you hit Grand Seiko, which that SNR029 is my Grail watch, and it has a spring drive movement in it. This has ADL35. This is a great movement. The Grand Seiko movement, dress down Grand Seiko movement. These were produced in the Grand Seiko, Seiko studio. So, like, share, subscribe, comment if you're new, it, it, all that. And um, I'll see you in the next video pretty soon. I've got something, other, something special coming. Take care. Peace.